Welcome to this episode of Logic. Test your knowledge. Logic is the breakfast of geniuses. Now we have recently covered informal fallacies of weak induction. Now let's work some practice problems. The rules of the quiz. I'll ask you a question. You press pause, try to answer the question, then press play again to see if you're correct. Now post your score in the comments section below to encourage competition. Let's begin. Practice problem number one. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause because the answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! Hasty generalization. The sample is only of two people. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! Appeal to ignorance. No proof for something is not evidence for the conclusion. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! Appeal to unqualified authority. Mr. Smith is unqualified because he's nearly blind. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! Weak analogy. Red hair and baseball is not a strong analogy for their nationality. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! False cause. In this case, it's the non-causa pro-causa variety of the fallacy. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The slippery slope. The conclusion depends on a causal connection that is not likely to occur. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! Weak analogy. The similarities are not strong enough to support the conclusion. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! False cause. The conclusion depends on the claim that Friday the 13th causes bad luck. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The hasty generalization. This sample is too small. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! No fallacy here. Similarities in soda can brand and label is sufficient to support the conclusion. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The slippery slope. The conclusion depends on the chain reaction of causes that is unlikely to occur. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The appeal to the unqualified authority fallacy. A dentist is probably not an expert in constitutional law. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! No fallacy here. The argument has a strong causal inference. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! The appeal to ignorance. No proof against a thing does not provide evidence for a thing. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! False cause. This is the gambler's variety of the fallacy. Tosses of a coin are not causally related. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? 
Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! False cause. This is the oversimplified variety of the fallacy. Whiskey ads are just one cause amongst many. Next practice problem. What fallacy is committed in this argument? Press pause. The answer will appear in three, two, one. Ding! No fallacy here. If Leroy used foul language, then it is likely that someone would have heard it. Congratulations on completing that quiz. You're ready to advance to the next level. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.